When horses run across race tracks, the surfaces become compacted under the weight of the horse. As the surfaces compact, they become harder and stiffer, and the forces imposed on the horse limbs can increase dramatically. Racetrack maintenance personnel play a key part in ensuring the safety of the racetrack surfaces, mainly by harrowing, watering, and adjusting the surface composition. This video will detail many maintenance procedures commonly performed at thoroughbred racehorse racetrack surfaces. The procedures shown specifically relate to dirt and synthetic surfaces. This video was made by the J.D. Wheat Veterinary Orthopedic Research Laboratory at UC Davis. We would like to thank the following funding sources and the various racetracks and people that provided valuable insight about track maintenance or helped collect maintenance information. Maintenance decisions are based on many factors, including surface type, weather, feedback from trainers, and the observation of race times. Many track superintendents make decisions based off track property measurements and all make informed decisions based off their experience. Different tracks have different harrow types, harrow depths, maintenance schedules, and amount of water added. Dirt race tracks and synthetic race tracks both require maintenance, and some of their maintenance procedures are similar. Both tend to be harrowed in between races, and the harrow depth is typically two to three and a half inches. Because deeper layers also become compacted, both surfaces are harrowed deeper before each race day and or at occasional times during the week. For example, power harrowing and rototilling are performed at some synthetic tracks at a depth of four to six inches. At a dirt track, it is common to rip up and grade the surface at a depth of five to six inches. Also, both surfaces need adjustments and additives at least once a year as their components are broken down over time. Here are some examples of how maintenance procedures can differ between surface types. In terms of watering, Dirt surfaces must be watered throughout the day to keep the surfaces moist, but with care not to make them muddy and slick. While some synthetic surfaces are watered to adjust the temperature and quote-unquote tighten up the tracks, some are not watered at all because it breaks down the wax. In terms of harrow depth between races, dirt surfaces are commonly harrowed 3 to 3.5 inches deep, while synthetic surfaces are commonly harrowed 2 to 2.5 inches deep. In terms of surface composition adjustments, dirt surface adjustments are made to add and mix in components that have drained away or have broken down or to adjust for the season. For example, in California more sand and less organic matter is added before the wet winter season to improve drying time. On the other hand, synthetic surface adjustments generally consist of adding and mixing in more wax or other additives, such as synthetic fibers, that have been broken down. The equipment used for maintenance can vary by racetrack. Tractors can be very different in terms of their size, weight, and tire size. Synthetic surface harrows generally have spring tines of varying sizes whereas dirt surface harrows often have steel rod tines and rubber rollers in the middle. The actual maintenance procedures can vary greatly even within the same surface type, so procedures shown here are simply general examples for dirt and synthetic surfaces. For example, synthetic surfaces made by the same company have different material compositions because of different regulatory restrictions, weather, and material sources, and as a result have different maintenance procedures at different locations. Maintenance and the lack of maintenance affects the racetrack surface properties, and these properties affect the injury risk to horses. Maintenance procedures have developed over the years to reduce injury risk, and procedures will continue to evolve, especially with the creation of new mixtures and new surfaces. With knowledge of these procedures and with data collected from the tracks, 
VORL can rebuild surfaces within the laboratory that simulate racetrack conditions. Tests have already been performed which highlight the importance of maintenance in keeping racetrack surfaces safe. This is Jacob Setterbo and thank you for listening.